guys? Hey, right. what's up? How are you? Uh, just got a call from Britney Spears manager. Is in route here and be here in about 10 minutes. How exciting. Yeah, it's cool. Is that normal? Like, do celebrities come in a lot? You're gonna see it. Yeah? Yeah. Lindsay, Paris, everybody. It's not Oklahoma. Yes, it's not. Hey, Britney, over here. One more. When the celebrity comes, you got the paparazzi filing in. It's kind of a circus. Hey. Hey. Wow. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Let's put her in for 10. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll get her in the Mystic after that. I love tanning because it's my time to escape from the world. Brittany's in room seven right now. What she's doing is called the cocktail tan. She's doing a 12 minute high pressure tan followed by the spray tan. Brittany, you ready? I can't believe Lisa gets to spray Britney Spears. Come on back. So how dark do you want to be today? Dark. Awesome. As my toenails look so bad right now, hello. <laughs> no, I you totally need a pedicure. It looks amazing. It, it looks fresh, too. Yeah. Sexy. I like it. Bye, so, so okay. honey. See you soon. I love it. I came out here from Bixby, Oklahoma, and I read about these two owners who opened up five salons in four years, which is amazing. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for me to learn how to run a business, because I'd like to eventually run my own someday. You can sell anything to anyone, it's just how you approach it. This is my daughter, and she needs to get tan for her school pictures. She needs to get tan for her school pictures. Yes. And I want her to be tan. Last year she was a little pale, and I want her to stand out this year. I smell an easy sale. You're definitely gonna wanna do the level four, which is the mid-level bed. What might work better would be the cocktail, which is what um, Lindsay Lohan does. Um, it's, uh, it's actually where you do the bed and then you do the spray, so it'll help get the, you know, the most color. What do you think? Did you wanna get the Lindsay Lohan special? Yes. yes. Do you wanna look like Lindsay Lohan? Yes. Okay. okay. This is LA. You gotta be the tannest kid in the class. These two are for the tanning. This one's for the face. This one's for the body. This one you want to put on before the airbrush. This okay. one is something you use after the airbrush. This is an extender. Most beautiful girl in your class. Always. Cha-ching. 1300. Easy. Close your eyes and breathe through your nose and look straight ahead. No, I really don't want to do this. Well, you need to do this. It's for your pictures. Let's go. Lift your face up like that and make it right up under your neck. Make sure you get her cheekbones. She wants to look just like Lindsay Lohan. Okay, I'm gonna air dry you really quick. You're fine, honey. You're fine. She looks great. What do you think, honey? I like it. I feel pretty for a school picture. How'd it go? How it always goes, baby. 1,200, you know how I do it? Shut up. Yeah. In the hour I was gone. What well, no, I was just one sale. 1200 I'd like to eventually open a gym, slash training salon, airbrushing, everything, you know, and I think I'm learning a lot from these guys. How'd you do it? It's all confidence, all how you present it. That's what I gotta get is the confidence, like you got. Well. Lisa is only available for, you know, the right kind of people. There's certain things that I need help with and I can't ever get a hold of her. If I cut my hand off at work, she wouldn't be around, but if I leave her a message, oh, Paris needs airbrush. Oh, wait, what time? Let me give me the number. Let me let me call. Let me call. So I wanna make your job easier. I'm always available. You know when you call me, if I don't if, if I don't you don't hear from me for whatever reason, I call you right back. And you're doing a great job. I can't always promise you that I am I gonna be available to answer my phone. So if it's imperative that you speak to me, don't worry. Call me five times. Talk to me about it. Communicate with me about it. Communicate. Communicate. I have two phones. I can never reach her. I send her emails, I send her text messages. She still doesn't get it. The only other forms of communication I know are smoke signals and a dove, and I don't have any of those, so I don't know what else to do. My name's Holly and her name's Molly and we're We just Ollie. dropped the M and the O and we're Ollie's The Ollie. M and the H? <laughs> <laughs> we dropped the M and the H so we are Ollie. Yeah, the Ollie girls. But just pretend you're a brand new customer and walk in. Hi, welcome to Sunset Tan. You want to get your tan on? How much UVBs in your beds? UVBs? 27% UVBs. <laughs> okay, why don't you just check me in then? 
We'll okay. Pretend, we'll pretend that Can I'm I already in the system. Can I need your last name, please? Smith. I was under the impression that Lisa was supposed to be training the Ollie girls, but that's definitely, definitely not the case. Smith. And your first name, Smith? You can just search it off. I would list. like to type in your first name, Smith. <laughs> it's it's going to search every person. I'm trying Can I to please get your first name? My first name is you're doing it wrong. They are definitely not OK to work in the salon by themselves. I wouldn't leave them in their own apartment by themselves. They're just a few burritos short of a fiesta. This room only allows time of 15 minutes, and I put them in for 73. Let's do it. No, that's 730, <laughs> actually. If you put somebody in any bed for 730 minutes, they're going to be dead. They'll be tan. No, they're going to be dead. I'm trying to train the Ollie girls, but they're not cooperating with me at all. They're not doing anything. They're playing games. This is not a fun house. They're just a waste of space. They would definitely be better off gone. I have a shopping addiction. Shopping, great idea. We could go shop? Yes, you can go shop. Go find some cute outfits to where okay. you don't look like a hillbilly. We'll be back sooner than later. Hopefully later. Bye. <laughs> Hi, this is Lisa. Please leave your name and number. Voicemail. Return your call shortly. Thank you. Lisa, it's Nick. Um, I've got Holly and Molly running around the salon like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. <laughs> Um, just wondering what the hell's going on with them, uh, who trained them. I really, really need you to call me back. Please give me a buzz. Thank you. Jeff and Lisa are taking me to Hollywood Hills to spray a celebrity client, so I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Aaron, you okay with this? You good to go? Yeah. Sure? Yes. All right. All I'm right. nervous. I know. Aaron's my protege for custom spray tanning, especially with the celebrity clients. So I got a call today from one of our biggest clients, Jessica Canseco. Hi, Hi Lisa. Hi. She used to be married to Jose Canseco, the baseball player. And she's a model. She's been in Playboy. I brought Aaron for the first time. Yeah, great. Yeah, your place is beautiful. Thank you. I'm not used to homes like this. It's gorgeous. How big is this house? Um, it's about 14,000 square feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this this is, is your closet? It's being organized right now, yeah. Uh, this is the size of my apartment. <laughs> OK, yeah. rats. So here's my pets. She has pet rats, which is different. I'm from Oklahoma. I've never seen anybody have pet rats. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's OK. Wow. I kiss them, I know. <laughs> so we'll set up in the usual spot, right over here. I like to spray topless, and then I wear a little thong, because I don't really like much of a, a tan line. At first, it's very awkward when they take their clothes off, because I feel bad, because I feel like they think, you know, they're comfortable, so I'm comfortable, so. So just curious about how much did you guys pay for this house? <laughs> You don't know that, right? You don't want to worry about it. So what does your fiance do? Um, a surgeon. Oh, did he do those? Uh, I can't believe these questions are coming out of her mouth. The inappropriate questions. It's just really bad. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. What the hell were you thinking? With all those questions, Ed. I know, I know. I saw by her I mean, reaction. What gets into you, girl? I mean, are you nervous? I'm sitting there just burying my face in my hands. And to top it off, you're asking, you know, what does your husband do? You know, he's a plastic surgeon. And you're asking if she got her boobs done. Well, it seemed like the appropriate question. Appropriate for who? I'm still in those early stages of learning everything. I mean, you know, the big houses, the nice cars, the boobs, everything. I'm just, I really need to just learn to keep my mouth shut. I need to be confident in your ability to be professional okay. and not ask questions where they're going to be uncomfortable. Right. OK? No more. All right, girl. All right. Lisa, this is Jeff. I've left you numerous messages, and I need you to call me back immediately. Thanks. I don't blame Lisa for her personal life, but at the end of the day, she's my regional manager. She's responsible. Devin, hey, I need you to come down to the salon. I need to talk to you. I know what that's about. Jeff didn't get a hold of Lisa, just like I don't get a hold of Lisa. They, they, maybe they'll understand what, what, we're, what we're having to deal with. I'm, I'm so f***ing sick of it. I'm I, so I'm sick sure. of it. I'm trying to get a hold of her for the past three days. A her phone's and been got... off. It's not off. She's not answering it, and her voicemail is full. I think we should go talk to Devin and Jeff. All right, you know what? To Devin. But I'm not, I will tell that to Devin. They're obviously having the same problem with her as we That's true. 
Yes. So I, so go down. I think now would be a perfect time. Well, you've been doing this longer than I have, and you've dealt with more than I have, and I see where you're at. I'm not getting to that place. I'm 23 years old. I'm not gonna get wrinkles in my forehead and get all stressed out. Did you bring the reports that we need? I don't have access to some of those reports because when you put my code in the computer... Well, I didn't get a phone call about the fact that you didn't have access to those reports. I actually left it on your voicemail, but you never seemed to... No, there's definitely so, yeah. no message on my voicemail. And well, it's your job to actually get a hold of me. I can't please. make you answer your phone. I mean, well, you can, actually. Oh, I can. Yeah, okay. you can keep calling. And Janelle, what about you? Well, my text messaging was working fine. Why well, my text messaging doesn't work. Well, why don't you get your text messaging to work? It doesn't matter. I'm the boss, and you need to answer your phone 24-7. You should be available. The bottom line is, you didn't call me, and you didn't. I did too call you. Devin warned me that whenever you're a manager, just be prepared that everyone wants to take you down. I told you, you didn't answer your phone. As usual, big surprise. Lisa doesn't answer her phone. What am I supposed to do? Call you every five minutes? What am I supposed to do? Wipe your ass? The thing that really pisses me off is we could honestly have this meeting over the phone in 60 seconds. Okay, what's new about your store? How are your numbers? Okay, great. You need to work on this. You need to work on this. Okay, great. You know, instead of coming in here and sitting and hearing, you know, this all the time. Yeah. Janelle, can you your voice? I'd like you to leave the meeting now, and I will call a meeting I'm with not you later the on. Meeting. I'd like you to leave the meeting. No, I'm sorry, I'm not leaving. We're the not meeting. getting anywhere with you here, so I'd like you to leave. <laughs> Please, I'm not leaving the meeting. I'm kicking you out of the you meeting. You can't kick me out of the meeting. I'm not leaving. Janelle. I can't believe I had to walk out of my own meeting. I'm so pissed off right now. I can't believe these are my coworkers. You know, I mean, is this normal? What am I getting myself into, really? This is our regional manager. This is how she acts. What a team. What a team we have at Sunset Tan. I love it. Coming up next. Come here, you sexy man. I have to do some inspections. That's my boss, naked. Come on, hold up. Who's next? Hey, sexy bitches. Hi, boys. I'd like a tan, please. You want a tan with me? Yeah, a tan with a couple of hot Can I get your last name? The Ollie girls, I don't really like them a whole lot from what I've seen. Um, I tried, attempted to talk to both of them on separate occasions and got a blank stare. <laughs> How much lotion do you need me to rub on you today? You do have a sexy butt, so. Well, thank you. <laughs> and let me see yours. Let me see yours. Woo! We have surveillance system in the front of our salon, so this way for me, I'm usually in my office and I'm able to pull on whatever salon and see what's going on in the front. Hey, Jeff. Where are you right now? Can you lift up, please? I have to do some inspections. Holly's taking the guy's shirt off. It's getting out of control. Nobody's behind the counter. Come here, you sexy man. First not... experience like this. Ooh, how does that feel? Hey. What's going on? Molly, what are you doing? I had a test Devin just called on us from had... the house. He's watching you guys. I had to come down from the house and come down here. I had. Holly, right, Molly, get over here. Come here, right now. This is my business. I was trying to make a sale and they wanted to know what lotion to get. As much fun as I want you girls to have and sell and flirt and do all that, you have to realize at the end of the day, it is a business. Well, it's not a having that. You guys have amazing potential. That's why you're here. That's why we're training you. I think you're going to do awesome for the company. I'm so excited to have you on board. But and I want to keep it like rules. that. There's rules. Yeah, so you'll figure out the rules as you go. But okay. we love having you here and you guys are going to kick ass with us. OK. okay? Typically, Lisa is in charge of training all the employees, in this case, all the girls, and Lisa clearly slipped. Jeff and I want to talk to you, you know, in private, not with, you know, the other people here, just to, you know, how much we care about you. You helped us grow this company. Now, though, the problem is the last, you know, 10 months, numbers have declined, employees not knowing what they're doing. Where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? I haven't seen her. Well, um, my gosh, it's warm in here. <laughs> um, well, I would have hoped that I could have worked from home and got a lot, you know, actually still had the f salons run effectively, but unfortunately, you know, it's just, it's not that easy. And so I've been distracted and, you know, putting in the bare minimum. Honestly, Lisa, it's really simple. It comes down to one thing, and that is, um, can you handle this job or not?
You know, it's sad. We gave Lisa the option to stay, and uh, she decided to move on. I wanted to get everybody together to uh, talk about the changes. We've been experiencing some problems, um, you know, over the last year, and it just continually got worse. We've come to a decision that it's time for a new regional manager. And after looking at everybody's you know, experience and how they've advanced, we decided to make uh, Roxanne the regional manager. Yeah! <laughs> Lisa was my mentor, and now that she's left the company, I'm not really sure who to turn to. I couldn't be more happy for her. I, I respect her a hundred times more than I'll ever respect Lisa. Who has a tiara and a little, the little uh, cape thing? <laughs> the little, uh... <laughs> Roxanne rescued me from working a dead end job as a cook to giving me everything that's here at Sunset Tan, you know, making a lot more money. So I think Roxanne's definitely going to be a great regional manager. We love all of you and uh, let's go I kick some ass. Love you too. <laughs> decided to uh, throw a little party at my house, kind of boost the morale of the company, and introduce Roxanne as our new regional manager. We care about you Aww. very much. And, uh, we all love you here. Oh. We couldn't do it without you. you exactly. That. Success of Sunset Tan. <laughs> has a good time. Nobody gets out of control. That's my boss, Naked. And that's, that's my manager over there. And... <laughs> I try to you know, keep as much as I can in, in control, and sometimes you can only do so much. They still got half a can. Oh, no. <laughs> the shops are naked in the pool like what bad girl our bad girl what are you girls looking at so we're being like Devin tonight we're being responsible I thought you two girls would have been all over oh, hell no I know for a fact that they would have been the first people to jump in the pool um, if it weren't for certain circumstances such as they had their really nice dresses on, they had their hair and their makeup done. They would have jumped in that pool, naked. You just said downstairs you didn't want to ruin your reputation? Yeah, Thank exactly. You. Oh, we never said, so we, wanted, we don't want to look like those girls. That's all they have. I want nothing to do with this right now. Because he me off, that's why. I don't live like this, so it's kind of freaking me out, actually. You never said that. She was the one being stupid, going crazy, going skinny dipping. And then she's like, oh my god, these girls didn't do it. I made myself look bad. That's your guys' problem that you took it like that. Actually, I want to go home right now. You're the one who No, you're stupid bitch. These cat fights, these little claws that come out is jealousy. It has nothing to do with tanning, and it's high school. I think I graduated high school like, I don't know, 15 years ago. Erin moved out here from a small town in Oklahoma. Her dad's a pastor in Oklahoma. I think it was a big surprise for her being in LA. It's, you know, I'm from Indiana, so I know it's it's a you know, big difference from some small town in the Midwest. She gets, you know, I think a little overwhelmed with some of that, but um, hopefully she'll stick with it and, and not move back to Oklahoma. Coming up next. Sometimes I do want to just pack it up and go home. I miss my family. Hello. Dad?
sometimes I do want to just pack it up and go home. I miss my family. I miss the simple life, and it just seems overwhelming here. Hello? Dad? Hey, how you doing, honey? I'm good. I'm okay. What's going on with you? Um, just got back from a company party. Tell me about that. Well, it was really, like, pretty much my first time to actually hang out with everybody at work. Um, and I just didn't realize how, how crazy they were. They just did some things that were um, not what I'm used to seeing. So you didn't feel comfortable? I guess I have to get used to it. This is LA, I guess. I don't know. Well, you must have felt pretty awkward. It's just not home. I'm really missing you guys. We miss you too, sweetheart. I love you, Dad. Love you too. You be safe. OK, have a good night. This season on Sunset Tan. Our boyfriends can't tell us apart. No mistake in these girls now. What's going on? I want Vegas. I want the salon. I want the money. Oh, oh my God. I am not going to I'm so how's LA? I don't like the people. Why are you there, honey? Um, Why do you stay? I'm good tan. You're shaking my boobs. Those are real? <laughs> yeah. They are? No. <laughs> Are those I, real? I am the best candidate for Vegas, and I have record numbers. Uh, how would you like to take a trip to Vegas, man? What? What? The people are pretty crazy, and I really need to determine whether I'm making the right decision or not by being out here.